I know this is like a few days late, but let me just um but there's just been stuff going on and I'm hoping that I don't lose power while recording this because a freak like monsoon once again is hitting Texas and um I've been in jury duty all day and whenever I was leaving I had to run and do an errand but um on really really baby hair um <laughs> God, that made it worse um but on the way to my errand on the radio there's already like areas of Houston flooding again it's just insane so let's just jump into it um I did work on different patterns well maybe I don't know um I have four patterns that were all new starts um I didn't start on if it requires pants or bra it's not happening however I did start my first one last week was Ouija board and I didn't get none of these I got as much as like I would have ever wanted to get done on them. I'm kind of getting burnt out a little bit on Stitch Mania um, which makes me kind of like sad to say but I think I'm just getting really frustrated with the fact that two days is not enough for me to feel like I got a lot of progress and that really bothers me to put it away and not be able to work on it but this is how far I got on Ouija board um I got part of I got half of the bottom row of letters and then I started in one of the corners so I mean I guess I got a pretty good amount for two days this was only stitching in the evening. I did take it to work to work on um, during lunch. However, there was lots of just stuff going on that we were dealing with at my work. And there was several days that week that we did not want to be in the office. So on our lunchtime. So we like left. Um, but this is about how far I got. So I guess pretty good progress for two weeknights. Um, I still wish it could have been more. It's a really simple pattern. Um, it's all one color. Um, I don't know. But I am happy with it. I am really, really loving how it's coming together on this fabric that I dyed. Um probably about a year ago. I am really liking how it's looking. I was kind of worried whenever I very first started because of how kind of like weirdly patchy it is like in the center. But as I was like stitching, I was like, this is looking a lot cooler than I thought it could or would, I guess. So that was my first um, of the third week. Then the next one, see, y'all can hear it. The next one that I started last week, and this one I worked on Wednesday and Thursday. So Ouija board was Monday and Tuesday. So this was Wednesday and Thursday. And one of the days I just wasn't feeling super into it. I wasn't really feeling super into pretty much anything, really. Um, so... I have all my threads in here, so I'm trying to, no, I'm trying to get them saved onto one side. So, this is because, this is going to be a whole lot smaller than I thought that it would. Oh, it's because I have a string part. Um, but this is how far I got on Sleepy Hollow. So, I got, um... Almost all the white in the pattern done, almost all the bright yellow done in the pattern, and I started working on the gray. Um, it really is like a fast, a faster stitch, but um, one of the nights I just didn't do a whole lot because I just wasn't feeling well, and so um, I didn't get as much as I probably could have, but sometimes you just don't want to stitch a whole lot. Like I kept on getting distracted by... 
a TV show or movie or whatever I was watching those two nights. Um, oh, I remember. Thursday, for sure, didn't do a whole lot because it was the Grey's season finale. And I cried a lot. So I didn't really work on it for like an hour, hour and a half. I don't know. So Friday last week and Saturday... Saturday was my embroidery bee, so I actually got, and then I worked on this that evening. So on this one, I actually got a pretty good amount in, um, but uh, this is on 18 count. It's going a lot slower than any of her other patterns that I've done. This is Satsuma Street Mermaid Lagoon, and um, I originally wanted to stitch this on Picture This Plus, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a really dark blue and I got it in sparkly. That's, I bought the fabric for this pattern. Um, but I really liked the colors better on fabrics by LJ's Caribbean. So this is how far I got. So this is the fabric, but this is how far I got. I got a good chunk of the mermaid. I did change her skin color and I did change her hair because I just wanted to give her um, what the trend is called mermaid hair with the pink and blue like kind of like highlights or like ends or whatever. So I did change up the hair color also to be brown like mine and I did make her skin a actual skin tone but I believe that oh and I changed the color of her bra top but that's going to be the only changes that I make in the entire pattern. So, um, and I got, I started to get down to like the coral and that's part of a seaweed. I really do enjoy this pattern. Um, this is going to go in my bathroom whenever it's done because I don't know if I've said it before, but it's kind of like sea creature themed. Um, so I'm really, really excited about how this is starting to look and turn out. Um, I was really worried at first whenever I started up here because some of the colors were kind of like light and kind of like faded into the fabric. But I think it's going to look really, really, really good and pretty. And so um, I can't wait to work on this one some more. So that's always fun. <clears throat> Then Sunday to Monday, I started Magical Creatures, and I bought this fabric from Picture This Plus a while back with this pattern in mind, and I believe I showed it on my uh, Stitch Mania plans, but I will show you again. It is heroic, so it's like this nice tan cream color with pink and blue in it and it just looks kind of like magical and like cloudy and I don't know I just think it's like really pretty but so I started on Clouds Factory's Magical Creatures calendar I'm not gonna put the months in the squares because I just don't want to I have enough calendar SALs that have the month names and I'm kind of um I'm probably going to keep them in for the woodland creatures or woodland woodland animals, whatever it's called, by Frosted Pumpkin. I'll probably leave that one in because of how they're like in the block. But for this one, I've seen it without the... I've seen it without the month names, and I just liked the look overall so much better. So that's what I'm going to do as well. So I didn't get a full month finished because um, I could have gone this way and done, I think it's the gnome uh, is on this, this side, and it's a smaller block. I could have started to the left and at least gotten one full block finished, but... I really liked the colors of the dragons, so I wanted to do those. I wanted to see what some of the brighter colors would look like on this fabric. So I really am super happy with my fabric choice of this. You can kind of see the pink peeking through, and then the blue is like really faint, but you can kind of see it a little bit. 
Um, and so this was my other start at the very end on Sunday to Monday of this week. Um, or the end of last week, but going into this week. Um, Tuesday, I was supposed to, so here's a rundown for the final week. And I did post yesterday, um, on my Instagram, a small video, if everyone would be mad if I went back to a project. Um, I'm going to try really hard not to. If I did, though, it would probably be pen pals because it's kind of like, like a stamp is technically a pattern, but I'm making it into, I'm making it into a, um, giant piece, so I was like, hmm, technically it's a pattern, technically it's not, so, um, anyways, um, but I'm trying really hard to stick to my original plans of the ones that I wanted to finish out Stitch Mania with, so that leaves me with, if it requires pants and or a bra, the Hogwarts crest, and, um, postcards, SAL and um, the sewing, the word, like the typographied word um, sewing machine by Emma Congdon. And I still need to get my printer fixed to even print out the Emma Congdon pattern. Um, everything else is good to go. Tuesday, though, I did, I, mm, I got out the Harry Potter crest and I threaded a needle and then I didn't. I just didn't, I didn't want to. So last night I worked on it and I got a bit done and I did post that on my Instagram. I'm going to work on the Harry Potter crest tonight. So Thursday and Friday, or no, today is Thursday. Friday and Saturday, I will, I'm going to get my printer fixed so I can start the sewing machine. Um... Saturday and Sunday, or actually, no, I really want to do that one whenever I have more time. I'll probably start tomorrow. Or, no, I'll have Saturday. I'm so conflicted. So conflicted. Um. Anyways, I digress. No pants, no bra, or whatever is going to eventually happen either tomorrow on Friday or Sunday. Um, I do have off work on Monday, the 30th, so I have Friday and Saturday left for one pattern, Sunday and Monday for another, and then Tuesday is the 31st, and since now I've not stitched for two days, I have one day left. I'm still going to probably do that one for the postcards, because the next, the, the new one comes out the next morning, so I'll probably just continue working on that one. In June, I still am planning to catch up my SALs and then do Finish Me June. So if anybody wants to do Finish Me June with me, let me know. But I want to finish some of the ones that I'm really, really close to. And that includes ones that were not during Stitch Mania, like my Christmas celebration. I have like maybe two days worth of white work on that. I just don't want to do it. So leave me some words of encouragement. Um, I do have a fair amount of thumbs up on my craft swap tag. So um, this long weekend, I will be hunting down a lot of my craft swap items. So that way I can do a craft swap video of like everything that I've received um, for y'all. And yes. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm working on. And I really hope that y'all enjoy this video. Um, let me know where y'all are at on Stitch Mania. Should I feel bad for like not wanting to finish out some of these patterns? I just feel like I have now so many started. And I already had so many started. That I'm just, I'm starting to get really discouraged. And the fact that I can't stitch on them long enough to show a decent amount of progress really bothers me and I just want to like 
be able to go back and work a few more days on a couple of them, but I keep on telling myself it's almost June, and that's what June is going to be for, but I, I'm i getting very discouraged. Um, I wish I would have only have said, I wish I would have only have done 10 instead of 15 and had like three days to work on them. I don't know. I At this point, I don't really want to do Stitch Mania next year, but my mind may change. Maybe if I like set goals every month from now on, kind of like I did this month and have an actual game plan, I feel like my YouTube channel is helping me keep on track because um, I'm having, I'm not having to, but I'm making videos and proving my progress um, to other people other than just myself. So, um... I think it's keeping me accountable and keeping me in line on what I need to work with um, and keeping me on track. So I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to set better goals. Having my YouTube channel back up and running um, and using it for Floss 2 videos. So um, I'm looking forward to that to see if it has any influence at all on that because that would just be lovely to get a bunch of finishes, although then I have to pay for frames. Um, it's a catch-22, but um, I have some Christmas presents that I need to get started. I think June is going to be finishing up a lot of stuff and getting things caught up. July is going to definitely be working on my last two swaps that I'm that I, I got myself in the in the Grey's Anatomy one and starting on Christmas presents so that way I can really put a focus on like July is going to be Christmas in July basically um and so I'm like I'm going to have to focus on Christmas presents because I don't want to come down to the wire on those so um because the fall is the busiest for me as far as having something to do every single weekend so not as much stitch time and I, you know, everyday life. So um, that's where I'm at. Hope you all enjoy this video. Let me know where y'all are at. How are you feeling about Stitch Mania being in the final week of it? Um, did you make too big of a, a goal? Not a big enough a goal. Are you really happy with your progress? How's things going? Just leave a comment below. If you like my videos and want more of them, hit subscribe. As always, like the video if you want to. Um, and if you go and watch my craft swap tag video, please put a thumbs up if you would also like to see the video of everything that I've received. And I will get working on that as well. Um, so I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.